It's the first action Malbus Park has seen in a long time. It's also the first time these teenagers haven't had to borrow someone else's field to play. It's all thanks to the nonprofit group Build Baldwin Baseball, formed last summer by several fathers that wanted better for their boys. There was no place for them to play if we had a team. There was no field in Spanish Fort uh, for that age group. Uh, we've got Spirit Park, we've got Spanish Fort Elementary for the younger kids, but for 13, 14, 15, the middle school age kids, there was no place for them to play. So the work began on the abandoned Malbus Park. With about $12,000 of personal money and endless hours of labor, the group transformed the shoddy, overgrown grounds into something to be proud of. Before and after pictures show the significant improvements, and there's still a long way to go. Getting Malbus Park up and running again is just the first of many goals. Another big emphasis for the organization is to provide opportunities to those who otherwise wouldn't be able to play. More importantly is to be able to start a fund that will help families that don't have the money to pay these fees to buy uniforms so that their kids can play baseball. Baldwin Builds Baseball aims to live up to its namesake. What started in Spanish Fort will soon move to other areas of the county. The group has already identified other communities that need help. Baymanet for sure, uh, being the, the, uh, the county seat, uh, we think that would be a great place for our next step. And then we're also looking at Robertsdale uh, as probably our third stop. For those who live near the park, getting used to the activity at the field will take some getting used to again. Dennis Henman lives across the street and hopes the players and parents are good neighbors. As long as I go by the rules and regulations, I'm okay with it. As you see